Hello everyone, I'm Georgia Henderson and welcome to Douglas on My Mind. Whenever we come back from break, we're going to talk to some community organizers and learn about events that your kids can get involved with as well as adults during the summer months and spring to get out and enjoy nature. We'll be back with more Douglas on My Mind right after this break. Back from break and joining me on the show today are two gentlemen from our local General Coffee State Park. We have Wade Huffman, who is the manager, and also John Holmes, who is the assistant manager. So welcome to the show today. Thank you. Thank you George. Glad to have you here. You all um, keep a lot of programs going at the state park um, to keep everyone involved and interested in nature. And you have a program coming up on uh, Saturday, April 25th, which is your um, spring fling. So if you would tell everyone about this event and what they can expect. Okay, Georgia, uh, as we as we get into spring here, the spring fling is our first official spring special event. It's not one of the larger special events. Uh, it is geared toward Arbor Day and Earth Day. Both of those fall uh, right there around mm -hmm. April 25th mm -hmm. or that weekend. Uh, we're going to have a lot of spring themed activities, uh, nature based crafts for the young ones, uh, some nature hikes, uh, just all, you know, all those things related to an environmental theme as we are stewards okay. of the state park out there. Uh, looking mm -hmm. at also getting some butterfly gardens put in. Oh, neat. So, what time would this program be held? I believe that one is going to go from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And is it an age limit for the kids? Uh, no, no. Anybody and everybody can come out and enjoy. Any uh, pre-registration? Uh, no pre-registration required. It is, uh, in addition to the parking uh, pass fee, it's $1 per person. Okay. And the parking pass is at $5, $5 per vehicle. vehicle. That's right. Okay. And you also have another program coming up. That is uh, the Jake's Day program and a Junior Fishing Derby um, that will be coming up on, um, excuse me, May the 16th from 10 to 2. So give us the details of that event and what is Jake's and and uh, information about the Fishing Derby. Uh, the, the Jake's Day, and this is this will be the third annual Jake's Day, uh, we team up with the local uh, National Wild Turkey Federation uh, group and it, JAKES stands for Juniors Acquiring Knowledge and Ethics Through Sportsmanship. Okay. It's a lot easier to say JAKES. It is easier. <laughs> but, um, they will uh, give, the, give the young ones an opportunity to shoot some air rifles, uh, to do some archery, and to, uh, there'll be a lot of hunting and outdoor based uh, presenters there talking mm -hmm. about those subjects. It'll just give the chance for the kids to be active uh, doing those kinds of things mm -hmm. and that goes in tandem with our fishing derby uh, we let the kids fish and we have a number of categories and there will be prizes awarded okay those different fishing categories now with the fishing derby is uh do you offer like fundamentals of fishing or you just encourage parents to come out with their kids we we can help we will help it we will help them bait their hook show them how to cast mm -hmm. if they've not done it or don't have that much experience. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, we want it to be a successful uh, fishing experience for them. Mm -hmm. so whatever, whatever we need to do to make that a success for them. Well, that's good. And you've partnered up with the National Wild Turkey Federation, which right. is a great group. They really believe in working with the youth and the outdoors for us, the archery and the shooting and all that. So it's big. It's a big sport amongst, amongst kids and um, gets them out, teach them the safeties of it, safety right. and stuff, and get them involved. You also have another program, um, John, and you may want to tell us about this one coming up, um, your Rangers program and um, the Campground Volunteer Day. So tell us about that, when it will be held, the times, what all is involved. All right, well, that, that's a... Um 
that day just happened to be a good day uh, for several reasons to have at least four different events. Mm -hmm. um, the first three events are strictly for um, registered campers who are already in the campground. And the last event will be for everyone, the general public, to come out and attend. Okay, the um, the ranger. So the ranger program is from eight to nine. Correct. That's um, we call that general coffee with a ranger. Okay. Um, that ranger is likely to be me, or it could be one of our other rangers, and we are expecting an appearance from General Coffee himself. Mm -hmm. Um. So if you've never met General Coffee, this might be your chance. Is this like a shadowing program to see and learn about what rangers do? Um, it is. It okay. is. It's a chance for the public to come out and ask us questions. You know, why do why do y'all do this um, this way? Why do y'all? What's it like to be a ranger? Why do you like being mm -hmm. a ranger? Okay. Um, different questions that you might normally not be able to ask. Uh, say you come into the office and it's busy and mm -hmm. you can't get all your questions answered. And all of this is taking place on June the 6th. Now June also 6th. on that day is your campground volunteer work day from 9 to 11. So it's a busy day. What all different activities are you looking for volunteers to do and what age group? Um, we have, a, a, for those of you who are familiar, those out there that are familiar with our campground, we have a lot of trees and, and trees don't live forever. Um, and there's a constant need of firewood. Um, we have some trees that we're going to cut down and we will have volunteers stack the wood. Uh, there's also some leaf piles. You know, winter's over now, we're into spring. There's still a lot of leaves laying around, more than our staff can handle. Hey, can we come out and get the wood? <laughs> If you're camping. If you're camping. Remember, okay, okay, camping, okay. camping. It'll probably get burned up by the campers by okay. the end of the night. Uh, but, um, the um, it's it's a chance for the campers to learn what it's like to take care of a campground, right? Because um, it takes a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize that. And then um, there's a hot dog contest from eleven to one. So what exactly have, is this your first time having a hot dog contest? It is. It is the first annual, and we. We need to get to where we do more programs for, uh, interpretive programs for our campground guests. Um, it's been our observation there's a lot of young kids and people different ages camping and we've seen an increase in visitation and we wait now thinking, hey, we need, to, we need to do something to show the campers that we appreciate them coming out and camping at General Coffee State Park. Now, excuse me for not really knowing, is this an eating or grilling contest? It, well, there's got to be some taste. <laughs> but I'm sure uh, we will be looking for judges. We might even recruit you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know if it was one of those contests to see who can eat the most hot dogs or so is is deals with the camping and grilling. It's a, it's, oh, okay. a, it's a hot dog building contest. Okay. And, and we'll have a couple of different age groups um, because obviously some people, you know, adults are a lot more skilled at building a hot dog than uh, youth. Um, but it's mainly fun. fun. And okay. there, there will be some prizes awarded for the different categories. Okay. Well, you definitely have a lot of programs, as I say, going. And um, also, you have a Nature Trail Celebration um, Hike Day. So tell us about that. Um, once a year, there is a, it's a worldwide event, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, it's a outdoor trails event. Uh, it's a way to get out and get fit or just take a break from everyday life and get out there on a trail, experience nature. Um, but it doesn't have to be a trail through the woods. Some people may not be comfortable in the woods. Um, if you can't come to our park, go to any park. Right. Um, National Trails Day also promotes stewardship of trails. Um, it's one of the, we have so many trails at General Coffee. It takes a lot of volunteers and staff to maintain those trails. And we like to show off on this day the resources that we have along the trails and talk a little bit about stewardship and what it takes to maintain the trails. 
uh, so that the public knows. And I think it's, uh, it gets people engaged okay. and it gets them interested in the resources and it promotes a caring of the resources and that that is our goal that's our job well wait or john either one of you probably can answer this um the trail is it walking or bicycling both or and how long is the trail uh, we have you know with our trail system uh most of it is multi multi-use you can okay. you can hike you can bicycle the only area we ask that we don't have a lot of bicycle riders is on the horse trail Horse bicycle conflict mm -hmm. is can it's be, not good. Can be a bad thing. <laughs> uh, but yes, otherwise you can, however you would like to enjoy the trail, bring your bike, bring your, okay. bring yourself. Okay. And you also have a program, um, Friends of General Coffee State Park. Um, tell us about that program and how the community can get involved. Okay. Uh, the the Friends of Georgia State Parks is an organization uh, who gives a great deal of support to the Georgia State Park System. Uh, many of the parks themselves have local chapters of Friends, which we do. Uh, we've been, been in the process of trying to build our group up. Uh, they assist the park in put, putting on these different events uh, and supplying volunteers for some of these uh, efforts that we have mm -hmm. uh, and just to serve as a voice of advocacy for the park in the community uh, to, to get people out to the park. Well, what are some of the ways that you can utilize your volunteers? Oh, we can utilize volunteers in many ways. Um, trail maintenance. Um, we have we have the heritage farm that requires and needs a lot of volunteers to keep that going. We have the butterfly gardens that we're in the process of developing. Mm -hmm. We've got at least five upcoming projects in the park where we're building uh, new avenues for vis different visitors to enjoy in the park, and, and we, we can use help with that as well. Okay, and I'm sure it takes great partnerships. You have the friends, you know, of the state park and your volunteers, but um, are there some other ways that you would like the community to get involved through partnerships and contributions? I guess any, any of the, any of our uh, community, community agencies, clubs, businesses, uh, there's always going to be probably a specific need for whatever skill set they have. All they have to do is come talk to John or I, and we will, we will get them on their way to, to helping out in some regard out there. Okay. Well, I know generally whenever people go out to the park, and I've been out there myself, and we have the gate pass that's required to be paid. Just, if you would, before you leave today, share with everyone the importance of why that gate pass is necessary and how it benefits the park. Um, the park pass, gate pass, uh, is important because it keeps the parks open. There have been times in the past when the Georgia Park System has um, been very, very tight mm -hmm. financially, even more so than now. Um, the Park Pass has helped to relieve a lot of the um, costs, the budgets that have been cut. Mm -hmm. um, it's also um, attached to a state law, um, separate state law. It's a fee that we have to enforce. Um, it's not like our other fees in our park, but it does help the park, especially if you buy an annual pass. If you buy an annual pass, a percentage of that money comes back directly to General Coffee State Park if that's the park where you bought it. Oh, yeah. So it, it's worthwhile. It's an investment in the park, um, and it keeps the park open. And operating. Well, great. I know some people may wonder, well, five dollars, but it does help. And I remember years ago when you know the state was going through cuts, and it, it wasn't yet determined if uh, Douglas uh, Coffee County Park would stay open. But